Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my Rust basic elevator tutorial. I'm going to show you how to uh, use your elevator, set them up, all that kind of thing. So, uh, First of all you need to start with a square foundation and your elevator will snap right to it. You can uh, put walls around it, put uh, a door frame on it if you want, any type of door. Uh, garage door probably works best so put a double door frame there. You can put another door on the back here or you can just uh, wall it off and uh, then start building up. Uh, you can build up six high, that's the limit, and as soon as you try to put any higher, it, uh, it won't snap anymore. So uh, six is the limit there. So uh, now you have the power socket, uh, the input is right here at the very, very top of your elevator shaft, and uh, on every level you'll have these call elevator um, sockets. Uh, you'll have two on each level, uh, like so. Uh, so here I have a uh, completely enclosed elevator. And uh, I'll show you how to power it now. So you start with a, all you need is a solar panel and a small battery, and that's it. Just plug in your solar panel to your battery and your battery to your motor here. You see the light will go on. The light takes up uh, one power active usage there. So let's see, that's a bit better. Uh, and then if we come down to the bottom here, I'll put a button here. To Call it down. This sends out a little pulse of electricity, which is enough to call the elevator, and down it comes. And I'll show you here on the battery. It says uh, active usage is 10 now. So the uh, actual lift takes 10 power, um, and then the light only takes one. So uh, there is a cool little trick you can do. Uh, it might be patched out by the time you're watching this video, but as of the release uh, of this video, it still works. So uh, uh, what you can do is if you put a branch here and uh, change the power out to the branch in and then branch out to power so don't change anything there plug it in light will turn on and you'll see here it, get, it has two power going into it from the branch if I call the elevator back up you'll see it's moving and uh, the active usage is only two and here it still only has two power in so lifts only actually need uh, two power to operate. They actually can operate on one, but uh, for the uh, purpose of this, I'll be using two. Um, so it, it will use up to 10 if you let it, but uh, it only actually requires two. Uh, so if you put a couple branches uh, in a row here, you can uh, power up to four, uh, four elevators. Branch off two, branch off two, branch off two, and then each of these branches takes uh, one power each, so you're left with one here. And I can show you that uh, it will run off of one power here. So, see one power, the light's on, and press this button, and down comes the elevator. So, uh, it's a neat little, neat little trick, but it might be patched soon. Uh, anyway, so let's move on to a little tiny base build here. Uh, now, this is a 3x2. Imagine this is all furnished with furnaces and whatnot and uh, have a nice three-story elevator here. You can come on, they have these uh, two buttons here, one to go up, one to go down. Uh, and if you press and hold E, you can uh, raise the elevator to the top. So go all the way up to the top, which is nice. And then, of course, we have an elevator call button attached to every level. So come up here, press it, and up it comes. And here we have a four-story elevator, which uh, changes the story a little bit. So I could go, you know, I can go up one level at a time, or I can go all the way up to the top by pressing on E. But uh, the problem with this, in my eyes, uh, it works perfectly fine, but the problem I see with it is if, let's say I want to go to floor three, uh, I can't go to floor three. This will bring me up to the fourth floor, and this one will bring me up to the second floor. So I can't really, I just have to go up and then up again. And I'm not, I'm not too keen on that, so let's put that all the way to the bottom again. So my solution to that is uh, you can put signs on the whole back side, um, only near the top on the sides, but uh, you can put them anywhere. And then the buttons you can put near the top on the back as well. So what I like to do, a sign about there, a the button there, there, and there. And I'll make a little sign here. This is for the first floor, so I'll put a little one. That. And then this is two, three, four. 
like so. So uh, I'll, I can wire up all these buttons to go to the certain floors, and I'll show you how to do that now. Come back here, and uh, what you'll need are X4 switches. Um, and to figure out how many you need, it's uh, however many floors you have, um, that's how many banks of X or switches you'll need. So we have four floors, so we'll need four banks. So one, two, three, four, give yourself some room with each bank. And to know how many you'll need in each bank, it's the amount of floors you have minus one. So since we have four banks, four floors, we'll need three switches per bank. And that's the same with every number of floors. So if you have five floors, you need you need another bank, so you need five banks, and then you need four XOR switches per bank. Um, so anyway, I'll show you how to wire this up now. So I'll uh, disconnect this from the call elevator and uh, wire this up to the first XOR switch, like so. And the second one is this uh, button on the second floor, because we want this also to bring the elevator to the first floor. Wire that up. Same on the third floor. Get a little messy here, but that's okay. And same on the fourth floor. And I'll take these, put them into the third XOR, and then plug it into the elevator call. Uh, we can put it in the back corner one just to make it a little tidier, but uh, yeah, so now you'll see if we call the elevator to a different level, say level three. Now if we want to go to the first floor, um, we can just press this button. Like so, and down we go. And that works on uh, any of the floors, and you can just uh, program them to each floor. So this would be the second floor, so you'd uh, plug in all the buttons down here, and then this would uh, plug into your, uh, your second floor elevator call button, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, over here I went ahead and made a fully functional sixth floor elevator with uh, all the buttons. So here we go. We can let's say we go to we want to go to the fifth floor. So let's go all the way up. There's three, four, and five. And then we can go back down the second floor. Four, three, two. There we go. So I I quite enjoy this. I think this is more of a role player thing. Maybe if you have a a hotel or something uh, that you want to. A nice elevator to go into. Um, it's not super practical for uh, for your regular PvP survival uh, server, but uh, there you go. And uh, of course, it only takes one solar panel and one battery to run, no matter how many floors you have. Uh, and since the buttons don't require any power input, it makes it extremely easy to set all this up. And uh, here's a little uh, view of the uh, XOR which is required. So we have six floors, so we need the six banks of XORs, and uh, each bank will have five XORs in them because it's again six minus one uh, is five. So there we go. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, the end of this little video. I hope you learned a thing or two about elevators, how they work, how to set them up, and uh, and hopefully you can uh, apply this to building your own bases. So thank you for watching and have fun.